I'm going to move away now, yeah. I'm going to move away now because there's a load of savages about you going crazy. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot communicate with people like this. I cannot, I cannot communicate with people like this. I cannot communicate with people like this. Yeah, so this particular video is, I should use that as my uh, intro, uh, the savage comment, because I think it's uh, fitting for most of the encounters I have at Speaker's Corner recently. Uh, I'm going to go over two videos. I'm going to call the video Savage 1, Savages 1 and Savages 2. Both of them are very similar in the sense that uh, it was a mob raw. Uh, both of them were after I attended the Tommy Robinson event. And so people were very agitated towards me and had group mentality. And um, when I say savages, don't start wetting your panties and crying and bitching and, oh, he's a racist. No, anyone can be a savage. you just got to be thick. That's it. That's your criteria. Uh, so most of these guys around here, when they get together, individually, I think they might be okay. Uh, I've spoken to some of them individually, but when they get into a group, they turn into like a hive and then they just become moronic. And all their uh, intellect seems to kind of just fall out their ass for some reason. And they can't think for themselves. So this is the video of the savages. And look at poor me. Look at poor me. Look at me. You know, the thing is that um, I think it's a great experience. A lot of people will probably say, oh, it's a bad experience. But I, I love to learn from uh, mistakes. Not love, but I like to learn from uh, and see how much I can push myself. Uh, and this was a, quite a lot of pushing over the last few weeks because I had to deal with this as well from this vile individual who I will call the fuck Manchester guy. Uh, this is the guy that says this. Yeah, remember that face? Now look at this. And uh, let me see if I can get the time. Uh, I think it's 43. Hopefully I can get it. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Just in case you didn't hear it, let's rewind. Yeah? Did you hear that? Fuck Manchester. This guy here. The same guy that I met a couple of weeks before. At this particular savage uh, reunion, maybe it was a kind of like a little party they're having of savages. So I didn't even realize there was a kid in the thing. Poor child. I hope to God he doesn't uh, get a trauma from this thing. You know, he might. Some, oh, poor cock kid. If I knew he was here, I probably would have not said what some of the stuff. I didn't see him there. But this guy, uh, he tries to be an intellect. I'm going to tell you something now. He's probably one of the most thickest person I've ever met. Uh, and that is saying something, because I've met some very dumb people in my life. Um, and I'm going to show you uh, kind of like the hypocrisy of uh, people like Respect and all of those guys. Now, if you look at this, uh, 2345. Let's have a look. This just shows you how the mob brawl can... Because I don't think Respect is uh, dumb or anything. He's a clever guy. But like everybody that when they become into a mob brawl, they just become really, really hypocritical and cannot see what's going on around them. So listen to this about me doing ad hominem attacks. Ad hominem, before I go on, means personal attacks against people. And so prior to this, 2345. Yeah, so he says personality clash, ad hominem. Well, yeah, that word, yeah, that word, yeah. You've got, you can't counter the argument, so you attack the person. So, got no he says ad hominem attack. The lodgin. The guy, which I'm going to show is a hypocrisy. And also, um, Raspik says it here, is here, and which is 36, 16. 
they are not self-aware. No. They think no. they're saints. No. They think the sun shines like their ass. No. No. In reality, no. this guy's a cokehead. No. Yeah. No. This guy is a cokehead. He, he looks all right. And he's an arsehole. He's a good guy. 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 A debate? <laughs> that was not a debate. Alright, so you can see here, all of these people seem horrified that I said something bad about the Lodgen. Uh, and I'm going to show you something, just to show you the kind of madness of mod, mob rule this should be actually what i want to do i'm going to submit these videos uh i'm going to submit these videos to some kind of research center where people can study the effects of mob rule and uh, savagery when people get together N seemingly normal intellectual people uh, can lose like 80 iq points within uh five minutes of being around a group if they cannot think freely and I think this is what happens with a lot of people that are in groups and when they're trying to attack one individual. Um, so I'd love, if anyone's doing any research and they see this video, I have loads of videos of savages going crazy uh, and thinking, uh, you know, group think without thinking logically and just attacking a man and being hypocritical when he then defends himself, he's then the one in the wrong and everyone's kind of uh, looking at him like he's crazy. So let me just show you how insane this is. Now, I've been, I just made a remark uh, against the Lodgen and I made that remark about the you know what. And uh, just watch this, 1480, let's have a look, let's have a look. So this is way before I made a remark against the Lodgen. And listen, listen to this. You're Uncle Tom, you're Uncle Tom. Let me talk. Uncle Tom. Let me talk. Let me just say something. Yeah. Straight up and down. Can I say something to the camera? I will, I will. I love Uncle Tom. Uncle Tom is a very derogatory word to use against somebody. Uh, I'm not no Uncle Tom. Uh, I'd, in fact, to be honest with you, uh, most of these guys are Uncle Hamids. They are the boot of Muslims. They lick their boots, but they say I lick the white man's boot. I don't. Most of these guys, especially this guy, is probably Uncle Hamid. Um, so talk to these guys. So that's one insult. Then you go to the old... Let's have a look. Let the pigeon talk. Hmm. Yes, I'm aware I look like a bit of a burden and pigeon. Big deal. At least I'm not thick. At least I got talent. Have a look. Have a look. At least I got a sense of humour. At least I'm self-aware. Uh, I'm not a, a, an oil painting, obviously. But I'm not a freaking moron like most of you guys. This is why you hate me. Uh, because... I am more than you could ever be. So hate me as much as you want. And uh, the thing about the pigeon thing, have you been in Speaker's Corner? It's not a freaking fashion show, you know, or a model agency. There's loads of freaks around there, man. Some of them look like they just come out some kind of freak show. So, you know, I don't know what they expect me to look like when I'm going to Speaker's Corner. Oh, honestly, I, 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 the mentality of people is just absolutely crazy. So, yeah, let's have a look. So that's insult number two. And then you go to this. 35, 47. Let's have a look. I should have really set. Okay. It doesn't make no difference. It doesn't make no difference. Yeah, you know, the difference between me and everybody else. So I'm a cunt, and I know it. Number three, uh, number 37, 18. Yeah, you can see I'm saying you do one of them in a text. Let me just say something. I don't want your friendship. I don't care you. I don't want your friendship. I don't want your friendship. They're all going mad. I don't want their friends. People like this give drugs a bad name. Oh my 
get another add on in attack. And then let's have a look. 38, 34, just a little bit later. A swear word, Nakali sing as well. Tuddi is basically a pussy in a, a, a Punjabi, a Nakali sing and all that. So never insult, yeah. Then you go. I mean, look, this is like a never-ending freaking insult uh, video. I could probably do a little uh, thing. And then, and people in the comments actually think that these guys got the better of me. Not him. Got the better of me. It was just pure I'm personal you attacks. Know, yeah. I'm going to move away now. Yeah. There's a load of savages about you. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> savage. <laughs> Look at Rastik says he gets shocked. <laughs> They're all set. I cannot communicate with people like this. Yeah. I cannot communicate with people like this. So, let the pigeon talk again yeah let the pigeon talk yes i look like a pigeon big deal at least i'm not thick um So yeah, you know, you got that and then you go to here, where you go here. See, look, look at this, look at this. Look at this, look at this. Nobody hates it. No one hates it. We pity him. Pity and hate is different. We pity you. No one hates you. And you don't represent Sikhs. You represent Fudus. Fudu is an idiot, a prick. You know, you could basically say you represent pricks. No ad hominem attacks. Put the web everything. No ad hominem. No ad hominem attacks was happening against me. That's just one person doing it right right now. And I can look how long how many attacks are on there. Yeah, so, um, so you can see Talotja not uh, as a Sikh doesn't even. Terrorism, terrorism, you prick, come in. So you see that? I'm trying to hear uh, fight. I, I think it's here. So this is the thing, yeah. So when you attack me, it doesn't make no difference. Because he knows he's a cop. It doesn't so when I, when I said that, I, I was trying to say this. Look, I'm a, I'm very self-aware of my faults, which is probably why I'm so hard on myself in the time. I'm probably why I'm a misanthrope as well. A misanthrope is somebody that dislikes or distrusts humanity. And uh, so I'm very self-aware of my faults. And I'm even honest about it, a bit too brutally honest. But, <laughs> but look at these people. Now, the reason why I originally said he was a cokehead, if I'm being honest to you, was that obviously he was going for me. Uh, and so I wanted to kind of just uh, show something where the reason why I was annoyed with him was this. Somebody, if I like them and I don't like them, I don't discriminate because they're Sikh. I don't like him. And anyway, anyway, the real Sikh is, yeah, they wear their turban 24-7. I see yeah. my man wear his turban one week, next week turban's off. So let me say something. I've been going Speaker's Corner for uh, since last year, uh, October, and I've only not worn my turban twice. Every other time I'm wearing a turban. Go to Speaker's Corner. There's loads of Sikhs, but they don't wear their turbans. This guy here with the bandana, that's not a turban. And he doesn't know nothing about Sikhism if he thinks that's a turban. 
Well, that's appropriate compared to a turban. I'm the only one that wears that bug because I'm proud of my turban. And I'm proud of being Sikh. So I go to my bug. And I know a lot of Sikhs don't like me, but I'm proud of my distard. And I, distard is another word for turban. And so it's very hypocritical when, you know, this guy doesn't wear it. I've seen him with woolly hats all the time and stuff like that. But he's referring to him as an ideal Sikh. Yeah. It always at 10, 20, 27. The word Barney, yeah, is religious text. Now, just think about the context of where we are, yeah. Uh, we're in a park and uh, people are abusing me and they're calling me, uh, you know, disrespecting me and shouting and stuff like that. And he's asking me about my how much prayers I know. Even though uh, this guy is not an idol Sikh and he's trying to kind of belittle me in that sense. So that's why I try to show his hypocrisy by and the only way to really shut him down was to say that and i didn't make that up that is what he told me at some points now he's saying he was joking but what can i say and the other reason was uh you know 1347 Real Sikh. So this is the problem I had. You know, people are saying he's the real Sikh, and I know so much about him that you know it was it was difficult for me to just keep my mouth shut. Now the thing is, I'm gonna kind of like uh, expose this guy, this dude here, the fuck Manchester guy. And listen to his, remember it's Ramadan, yeah? Remember it's Ramadan. And he is supposed to be behaving in his best behavior. But watch the amount of abuse that he gives me here. 2822. <laughs> An eight ball, yeah, which is a drug reference. I don't even know what an eight ball is. I had to Google it. Yeah, see, twice. Then at 35, 37, we have the... Sorry. So again, and then you have uh, seven forty-one thirty-seven. And so remember this. This is. Uh, I told you that's the only. That's, that's the only bum sex you get. Again, that's the only bum sex I get. This guy is obsessed with butt sex. Terrorism, you prick! Come here, let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Put my, I didn't realize you put his hand on me, man. I didn't realize that. I feel like uh, I've been kind of infected by savage, some kind of savage virus. Uh, I don't know how to get rid of it now. Uh, my arm might start suddenly kind of thinking in a group think while the rest of my body is still functioning. Uh, freely, so if my arm, like my, I think it was my right arm. Oh, that's really sad. My right arm starts to suddenly behave in a kind of like a group mentality and going against me. It's because of this freaking guy, and um, obviously he was the same guy that said fuck Manchester. This guy here, this nasty vile piece of work, whose head shines. Look at that. If I just did that, you would probably think, yeah that that is a planet or something, you know, like a side of a, a, I don't know, Jupiter or something like that. You know, well done. Um, you know, it's hard to get a freaking bald head to look so freaking moronic and you've done it. So well done. Uh, the thing is that, you know, 
this particular video as well, I'll probably go over it another time in the future, but it's kind of like very, 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 very sad as well. Um, it's like, uh, you know, watching savages kind of like trying to think for themselves is very, 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 very disturbing. So the person that actually started this one was actually uh, 37. There's actually this young girl here. I'm not going to say too many bad things about her because she's a young lady. I do normally say that if you, if a woman acts like a man, I treat her like a man. Not physically, but verbally. Uh, she did suddenly, she did get triggered when she saw me. When she saw me, uh, I was just walking by myself. She just went, it's you from the video, <laughs> you racist. <laughs> I'm ashamed of you. All that kind of crazy, crazy talk. So... But a guy that, you know, is a real nasty piece of work, obviously, is my the little old bald guy. Like him. He comes in there and then he, he, he tries to kind of, um, you know, can you hear in the background? Foot D with no dolly means a pussy with no bed. So I'm just constantly being uh, kind of like belittle and stuff like that. And watch when I say, um, what, actually, watch when I say that 302. Watch this. So watch this when I say, watch this, watch this, watch the amount, see this cuckoo the pigeon thing, look at them all going triggered, <laughs> look at them, they're going crazy, uh, so they went mad, and then uh, one thing I find quite funny here, uh, is that, look, watch this, 526, yeah, Five twenty-six. See, this guy here spent the whole time trying to find um, something about Tommy Robinson that was racist, and you will see he never found anything. It's quite embarrassing, actually, that you know that he kept on uh, uh, going on about that. And um, one of the things I found quite disturbing um, is actually. Uh, this part here about freedom of speech, because I don't think um, people understand the ramifications of free speech is restricted for one group only, and then um, how it can lead to tyranny. So listen to this, and... Um, See, this is one thing that people keep saying. You follow Tommy Robinson. You follow him. You you think I don't follow Tommy Robinson. I support some of his ideas, and I think he, uh, you know, has a, a good idea sometimes. So I, I'm gonna kind of like uh, agree with him on certain points, but I don't follow him. You know, I have other. Uh, kind of uh, ways of learning things and other sources i don't just go to tommy robinson and everything he says that's all i listen to now this is quite a weird thing here if you go to 32 15 where so this guy here was actually all right uh, not this one but the one behind him. this guy here he wasn't that bad why should I be learning from no, 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 I'll tell you why. Why? He's not white. He's not white. He's not white. Hold on, hold on. Respect for white. Hold on, hold on. Respect for white. 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 Respect Yeah, and truly, what can you teach me? Respect. Tell me next time we'll chat and teach me something rather than shouting and raving and thinking. Let's have a good old civilized chat. And maybe I might learn something, but I'm not going to listen to you or anybody when you're going around uh, in a mob and no one's thinking correctly. So I'm not saying and nobody has any good points, but you know, treat me with, with a, in a civil manner and I will listen to you and I may even learn something, but I'm, I will shut off when people start hey, behaving hey, like this. I can learn 
learn from black people, I can learn from Indian people. My priorities are not to learn from Tommy Robinson. See, this guy here, um, he's kind of made a video and tried to clarify himself. But listen to the stupid. He's he's a very intelligent guy. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take that away from him. But it doesn't mean intelligent people can't say stupid things. And he's saying I uh, I'm getting my knowledge from Tommy Robinson. I get very few things from Tommy Robinson. The only thing I learn from Tommy Robinson is that he is exposing things that I have a concern with. That doesn't mean I learn anything else from Tommy Robinson. See, this is why I do dislike people. I've got to stop saying the word hate. I've got to really, really refrain from saying that. Uh, it's a bad word because I don't actually hate everybody. I dislike a lot of people and I do hate a few people in, my, in the world. Actually, quite a lot, actually, if I'm being honest. This is the problem. I do hate a lot of people. No, no, no. You cannot think. You cannot think. You cannot think. Yeah, so what I was trying to explain there is this kind of mob mentality I, I was seeing around me uh, obviously kind of uh, made me feel like uh, I hated humanity even more when I saw it. I was like, wow, this is just like real crazy kind of stuff. Um, obviously, this video um, yeah, taught me a lot. One is don't communicate with people when they're uh, behaving like this. Don't um, just walk away. Uh, Hassan told me that as well. He said, just walk away. You should have walked away. And I probably should have, but then again, I've learned a lot from that video. I'm learning a lot from, I'm studying it like some kind of scientist. Uh, I feel like I'm uh, kind of like, uh, you know, like when you see uh, kind of like a, uh, somebody studying like a zoo. And I'm not calling all these people animals, but they, they're studying animals like Richard Attenborough or something. I'm kind of like studying the, the behavior and seeing what makes them tick. It's a very interesting video. I wish... I could do a whole documentary for the BBC and get all my stuff from uh, Speaker's Corner and I'll be like some kind of Richard Attenborough doing a, a talk over about how I encountered the savages at the Speaker's Corner and how I, uh, you know, tried to civilise them. <laughs> I'm racist. I'm not talking about civilised like that. I mean civilised in terms of stop thinking as a group and think freely. Uh, so, all right. So... I'm going to shut it off in a minute, but I think I just want to show... Yeah, so this uh, is about freedom of speech. I, thought, I, I forgot to go over this. So what I'm going to do going next is that I'm going to leave it on this year about freedom of speech. Because what I've realised is a lot of people just do not understand, the co including Saeed, if you're listening, Saeed. He doesn't understand the concept of freedom of speech. Freedom of speech doesn't mean, or free speech absolutism, doesn't mean that I cannot be offended. Yeah? If someone says to me, uh, X, Y, Z, about me personally, I'm offended. I'm not a robot. What free speech absolutism means that, you know, I believe that there should be free speech up to the point where people are inciting violence. Now, obviously, if someone says to me, you are an X, Y, Z, I'll be offended. But I don't want it to be illegal. Some words are illegal right now. You can't say certain things without being prosecuted. That's the difference. I don't want it to be prosecuted. I don't want people at Speaker's Corner, if they said something, to be kind of suddenly handcuffed and walked away. Now, should they be condemned? Like if someone said, like, you know, I said the word faggot and uh, I regret saying it. It's a sorry, Paul, and I'm just using that as a, an example. But I shouldn't I shouldn't be arrested over it, in my opinion. But you can be if I was to say it to a gay person. So that is the difference. I hope people can start understanding this concept because I keep on getting it. Uh, people just do not get it. So uh, I'm going to leave it on this, which is uh, me trying to explain about the slippery slope of how freedom of speech um, can affect everybody in a negative way if it's curtailed.
So who judges what's hate speech? The government. What? The government. That's and called the judicial system. Let me say something, Jack. Oh, really. There will be a slippery slope here. At one point, yeah, it will start it's here. So and then it will go funny. all the way to what, what you believe in. Okay, and then you will be upset. So they're saying that um, what is deemed to be hateful or deemed to be inappropriate never changes. So they're saying that what was hateful in 1850 is still the same as today. Uh, just think about that. Certain words that you could say in the 1900s are un you cannot say now or vice versa. So things do change over time, you know, certain words and what you think is inappropriate or what you think is hateful will change over time. It was offensive, yeah, 70 years ago, and it's different from what is offensive now. Hang on, what are you talking about? It's 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 like what was happened. seemed an offensive 70 years ago? Look how thick that guy is. Look how thick that F Manchester guy is. Respecting speech breach of Tommy Robinson, at some point it will get to you. So, okay. so what do you expect you to do? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Abdul Hakim, the president of the I didn't say you couldn't speak. Now, Abdul Hakim was a, an ISIS supporter at the park, and I said, I said people should condemn him, but he should be allowed to speak because I want to hear his views, but you should condemn his views. You should condemn him. No, no, I said you should condemn him. What part of his speech do you agree with? Who's speech? Tommy Robinson. I don't remember your speech. You're the president. I said he was talking about some purpose. Hold on, hold on. He was talking about, he was, whatever, if anybody spoke, if anybody spoke about free speech and protecting free speech. Hold on, hold on, listen, listen. What part do you think? Which part do you think? Yeah, so I'm going to leave it at that. And, um... Interesting video for me personally. You lot are probably bored at your brains. Uh, I'm kind of uh, weird like this. I like to study stuff, and uh, I watch my watch a lot of videos back just to see how I have uh, messed up. One thing I have to start doing is recalibrating my vocabulary and trying to uh, to stop using words that are too loaded. I think that's what's causing a lot of problems when I'm talking to people. I'm saying words like hate rather than dislike and you know I'm not realizing that these words are much more kind of uh, controversial and so my message is kind of being skewered and uh, people are not understanding what I'm trying to say so um, it's going to take time uh, hopefully once I refine that I'll be a, a savage destroying machine you know going around just civilizing the savages of speaker's corner so watch out guys